Hey guys, welcome back to this week's episode of Weekly Hardware Recap. Today we have some pretty exciting news, including a new motherboard from Asus. Um, yeah, it's pretty insane. You may have already seen uh, some of this, um, or some, or remember from Computex when Intel um, unveiled its 28 core or CPU. Um, Asus had that sort of black and red board that looked a little weird. Well, they've um, changed it now, and they now have a completely new board, which um, is <laughs> more insane, like a lot more insane. Um, it's kind of, you know, you might think at first glance that the other one's VRM is much bigger, but this one, it's still absolutely massive, like much even like much much bigger than the um, MSI's one and you can't see any fans but I assume there are multiple fans in the thicker top part of the heatsink. I think what's the most insane about this is the amount of power connectors that it has. It has all right so it has two six pins or two two six pin um, uh, EPS um, uh, yeah, three eight, um, eight pin EPS and one four pin EPS. It also has two 24 pin power connectors and one six pin PCIe supplemental power, which I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of insane. Like, why would you need uh, six power connectors for your CPU? I don't know. I mean, it is 28 cores, and I guess that's what they need to hit five gigahertz. Well, I don't remember that many power connectors on the other boards. I could be wrong. But it also has um, 14 fan headers that I can see so far, two DIM.2 modules, so you can get like um, eight, I think, or no, four, sorry, wait, um, eight or four straight on the DIM.2, don't really know about the other one, it says two U.2, um, eight SATA ports, it's got two USB 3, um, and one uh, USB-C um, Gen 2 header, I think. Uh, there's just some RGB ports, other ports. Um, that's pretty much it for like the I/O stuff that we can tell. Um, there's also it also has built-in networking and a very similar style to their uh, Maximus, I think, whatever extreme for the X299 board. So yeah, that's that's about it for this one. Wait, I also forgot one of the biggest things. It has a. Uh, 12 memory slots instead of 8. So we also have uh, three board motherboards uh, today that we're going to be looking at. The first one is the Asus Prime X299 II. It has um, a really unupdated style for the most part. Um, it looks so tiny in comparison to the... Um, the last board, it's just kind of insane. But anyways, it has an OLED display, all the kind of stuff that you want, finned heatsink. So it should be a pretty solid board if you're looking for a white board. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Um, I love the lighting on it. So yeah. Um, from Asus also have a workstation boards for, our, there, for the new Z390 chipset. And this one has two 8 pins, which is overkill to say the least um it's got it also has a chip that basically makes the 16 pcie lines into um 36 no 30 32 i can't math today um yeah but it looks like a pretty solid board doesn't have a um io cover but it's workstation board as kind of what you expect you know it's pretty just pretty cool looking board for some reason the fin heat sink is on the basically the bottom half of the board which is like the like like the pcie chip the um chipset and the m.2s i don't know why that's more important i guess the chip is gets pretty hot chip i mean last motherboard we were going to be looking at is the um, MSI X299 creation. If you've seen the, um, you've probably seen the X399 version, and that was built for Threadripper 2, um, and that was pretty cool when it launched, but now they have a X299 version. 
I mean, if you want it, if you wanted a pretty like, I guess it doesn't have the same like VRM as the other ones, but it still has that same sort of styling. Got the RGB lights. It's still an extremely high end motherboard. I think maybe they're looking to replace the Godlike with the um, the Creation series. I don't know. They still have the Godlike on the. Uh, Low end boards, but I guess that's probably replaced them. It also comes with an M.2 card, which has their a graphics card cooler on it, which that is a little insane, a little overkill in my opinion. And they also have what is kind of not something you see every day. They also have a Thunderbolt card. Um, it'd be cool if they included the streaming card from the Godlike board too. Um, but you know, it's pretty cool. It's got two Thunderbolt um, ports and two USB ports, I think. Um, and yeah, so that's about it for this board. And on to the next thing. So the only graphics card launches that we have, well, like uh, the, this week, is the um, Gigabyte um, RTX 2080 Winforce White Edition. This is exactly the same as the other Winforce card, but it's white. Um, I'd, I wish they would do one for the um, 2080 and 2080 Ti. But I guess it's just for the 2080. I don't know why. Um, yeah. So that's it's a good looking card. If you want a white card, it's probably a card you should go with. But yeah. So we've seen three new air coolers this week. We've got a four pipe, uh, four heat pipe air cooler from Silent Team PC with an RGB fan on it. It's pretty much your standard uh, cooler for, from in 2018. Uh, RGB fan, black top. Uh, that's one fan, you know, with RGB. Also have a tough cooler from uh, Seath or Scythe or whatever. Um, it has got some yellow corners on the fan, uh, RGB fan, just a little tuck flow go on top, and just like the last one, four heat pipes. So yeah, um, the actual heat sink and the heat pipes are silver or chrome, but whatever. Also have the HyperX two twelve. Um, black and black RGB edition. They are completely black coolers from HyperX that are similar to the uh, 212, um, other 212 coolers, four heat pipes, um, all that kind of jazz. I don't think they'll be as popular because they're going to be more expensive. On um, um, this design styling looks pretty nice, but you know, just typical four pipe cooler, nothing special. We also have a new case from Monster Labo. Never heard of them. It sounds a little bit like a crappy child's flash game, but I don't know. <laughs> Looks like a cool case. It is 205 by 215 by 420 millimeters, um, and it weighs 7 kilograms on its own. It's included, but um, has an included fan on it. I mean, it, but it supposedly can run fanless up to an 8700K and a GTX 1080. Also supports up to an ATX um, power supply, but it can fit SFX and FS, SFXL, which is pretty good. It um, looks pretty nice, but I don't know. Not not my kind of thing, you know. And it's supposed to have a price tag around like $400, something around that. We've also got some new memory kits from uh, G-Skill and Zadak. Um, these are, um, okay, well, the first one is just some more Trident Z RGB that goes up to 4,500 megahertz, which is, wow. Um, the next ones are pretty special. They work with uh, Asus motherboards um, for the Z390 ITX and MATX boards. And these M ITX and MATX, basically, the DIMM slots have, can support up to double the capacity, so two DIMMs in one DIMM slot, basically. Well, not two DIMMs in one DIMM slot, basically the size of two DIMMs in one DIMM slot. So we have two, basically, 32 gigabytes times two modules that work in the ASUS motherboards. They're basically the same as the Trident Z and ZX um, RGB RAM, whatever it's called again, um, the normal one. Um, but instead, they are much, much taller. So basically, double the height. So yeah, if you're going to get um, ITX on Z390, it's definitely going to be the platform to do it. 
Fantax has also released its Revolt and Revolt Pro power supplies, which allow you to daisy chain two power supplies together um, to um, get twice the power and um, like half the like. Well, not I don't know what I would say half, but uh, better efficiency, better um, better cost uh, because you know it's spread apart to two units. They have um, 800, 800, 850, I think one of those and a thousand watts. And so, yeah, you can chain that together, get 2,000 watts. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Or you could just get two power supplies and get uh, an adapter, and then you can use one power graphics card, one power CPU. Either way, both should work fine. So, yeah, that's it for this episode. Uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you want to go out and check out my other videos, like my um, mods, like my RGB hard drive, I made that world's first rgb hard drive the world's that's also the world's most pointless rgb product but yeah so thank you so much for making it all the way to the end and goodbye see you next time